Welcome back to the shop, everyone. Uh, I'm out here today because we have this new little project. Uh, this is my grandma's old uh, mantis. Uh, it's kind of a cultivator, tiller. You've seen these things on TV for, for years, and she had one. Uh, I guess it was working pretty good up until a couple years ago, a few years ago, maybe a little more than a few years ago. And uh, so I, I, it, it's, it doesn't work. I was pulling the starter. I have fresh gas in it. It's 50 to one mix. I'm just using the, the fuel for my chainsaw. Um, I can get it to pop, there's spark. I don't really know what's wrong with it. Um, I'm, I don't think there's much. Uh, my dad said that he can kind of get it to start on, you know, when the choke's on. So there's, there's, a, there's a plug in the carburetor most likely. All right, so you have the fuel bulb right here and that it was sort of working until it just cracked right, just right now. So I have to replace the fuel bulb for sure. The fuel lines are just extremely brittle and hard. Yeah, the tank. Tank looks actually pretty darn clean in there. It, it doesn't. It didn't have like dirty gas in there. It was just old. I'm gonna pull this carb off right away. Uh, I did have spark, uh, and the spark plug did look fine, so I won't worry about that so much. But I'm gonna pull this carb off right now, and we're gonna get inside here and see if we can at least get it soaking, um, at least get it get it kind of um, you know cleaned up. I'm sure just the idle jets are screwed up. Uh, this is it right here. It needs to be cleaned a bit, but it's in decent shape. Um, got some weeds and stuff in there like normal. But it's kind of a cool little machine, and we're going to use this a lot, hopefully, this year uh, doing uh, in the garden. So not on the bark, on the, on the, the uh, wood chip garden, but we're going to do some conventional style uh, gardening as well right next to it. So I'm going to get after this and see what's up with this carburetor first, and then we'll probably be ordering a parts kit and then have to assemble it later. Sorry, I had the mic turned around. Probably, probably going to be all quiet. But yeah, uh, what I was saying before is um, this uh, it looks just like the steel carburetor piece that I had. It looks almost identical. And it's a Zama, so... All right, let's pop this off of here. This is where probably where there's going to be a screen. Oh, that's why it's not working. Look at this. Let me get you guys in close for this. You're going you're gonna to like this. You see that? That's just full of like sawdust and dirt. That there's no way that's working. <laughs> well, we'll get that all cleaned up. That's gonna. This is gonna work great. And and then I'm gonna order a, a rebuild kit. I might even just stick this back together really quickly just to see if I can get it to run because I think that's probably all it is. It's probably gonna start shooting fuel out of this broken fuel bulb though, so I may just get one of those first. Well, there's one of the reasons why it's not working. Uh, let's take apart this part right here. This is the, there's a gasket right here. This is probably the, yeah, this is exactly the same. And I just wanna see what's under it. I don't really wanna like wreck it if I don't have to. There we go, let's just peel that off. I know there's just gunk underneath and I wanna soak I do want to soak this piece because I can see a bunch of dirt. I would normally take this off because you don't probably don't need to. But there's just so much junk underneath it. How can I do it without wrecking it? really dirty that gasket looks okay just give me the right screwdriver for that springs gonna fly out Get the little 
plunger out of there. Yeah, let's do that, and, and then I'm just going to put this in the parts bin over here so I don't lose it. Especially that spring. I'm going to take out that screen, too. There it is. That'll have to go in the cleaning solution. It looks clean underneath it though. All right, we're gonna soak this thing for a while. Hopefully it doesn't wreck anything. What about that now? We don't need to do that. That goes in for a little bit. All right, so since I shot the video on the Mantis cultivator, uh, I've cleaned it up. As you can see, it's fairly clean. Pretty shiny, actually. So I pulled the carburetor off. As you saw, I looked through it, and, and, and it's probably rebuildable. But I went on to Amazon, and I was able to find uh, a whole, basically a, a, a rebuild kit for the whole thing. I mean, I, really, I need a carburetor kit. I need an air filter because this thing, you know, I started looking through it, and it's just completely soaked in oil and dirt. Uh, you saw before that the fuel lines were all crispy and baked. Well, I found this kit for about 20 bucks and it had really good reviews. It's called a, it's made by Hustle or something. Again, it's one of these Chinese, um, you know, kind of maintenance kit type things that they'll sell. And, you know, same thing as the steel uh, MS-180. You know, it comes with a, a rebuilt carburetor. It comes with a, you know, a, a couple of more fuel bowls. Just like that. Ooh, I think I so, the line, the fuel lines are twi like twice as thick. It looks like, it looks like they're a little longer on here. I'm gonna shorten this up. I'm just gonna make it match. You just pull it through and that's okay. You know, we wanna make sure, you know, if it's, just trying to get it exactly the length of the other one, or at least pretty close. I don't think it's really that critical in there. Now, I think that this little, I think that this plug here is a, is a little bit on the big side. So it would probably be better, you know, if I reamed out this tank a little bit, but I think I can still, I think it'll be okay as long as, you know. Long as All right, simple stuff here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how long to make this bottom line. It looks looks maybe like a little bit, like a little kinked once I start pulling it in there, but let's just try it. I think I may end up having to kind of take a little bit off the other one here too. Uh, no, that's probably about right. That's, that's about right. I don't want to do too much. I got a little room in there. I can always pull it back out. I've left a little slack. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna throw this thing together and see what we got. I'm gonna clip this um, throttle cable. What, which way does it go? That way, it goes that way. I'm gonna clip that back on there. Get that tied in, see what happens. And then I'm gonna make sure I hold that gasket. There's nothing holding that on there, that's annoying. And then um, we're just gonna pop this thing back together real quick and see if she fires up. All right, let's try this again, see what happens. Looks like the fuel thing is in there. Oh yeah, let's uh, see if it sucks in some fuel. One thing I don't know, let's see if the fuel bulb deal. Yeah, I don't know what, what's wrong with the other one, but you can see this is normal. You see that? I'm pumping it in, it's filling up. See, it's actually holding fuel in there, whereas the other one was not holding fuel. So if I put a choke on, let's see what happens here. There you go, so that's full of fuel. We should be primed. Let's go start the puppy up and see if it runs.
looks like we fixed all the leaks. It looks like the carburetor is working pretty good. Probably doesn't work as good as the stock one, but you know that's to be expected. But it does work. It seems to be fairly reliable. So um, the spark plug works fine. The air filter looks like it's doing good. Um, so yeah, I'll we'll uh, do some videos when the, with this thing out in the out in the garden, and I'll uh, keep you updated on that. And uh, yeah, it should be should be good to go. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Talk to you soon.